They are the most smiling, <laughs> oh. brilliant, energetic twosome that they have out there. Jerome Luai and Brian Toto. Was that as fun as you guys made it look? Um, I think we put it on a bit. The game's gone a bit faster since last year, so um, we're trying to suck it in a bit. But um, it's good to have Brian over to the left side, and like you said, we're having lots of fun. Hey, Brian, any truth in the rumour as soon as Josh Mansour left, mate, you went and begged Ivan Cleary to go to the left-hand side? That's true. No, no, no. That's, that's, uh, no. no, it wasn't planned. Uh, it came unexpectedly, so, um, yeah, I'm really grateful to be on the left side. Hey, Jerome, where, where do you guys get better? In particular, your game. You had a tremendous season last year. You won 17, 18 games in a row to get to the grand final. Where do you have to take your game along with that left-hand side to go one better? I just wanted to get my defence down pat this year. Um, been doing um, some hard work in the gym with this guy. Um, but, yeah, just wanted to lock my D down for the boys, but um, sniff around the ball a bit more um, with some broken play. So that's what I want to um, aim to do. Yeah, shot yeah. Rumi and the boys looking good out there on the field, but you two are like the backstreet boys of the NRL. Any little renditions of something just quickly after the game? Everybody, yeah, rock your body, yeah. Show Rumi. They love it. The boys love it. Benji should do one now. Benj, Benj, what do you got for your Rumi? No, no, I got, I got nothing on that. <laughs> hey, Jerome, we just spoke to your captain, Nathan, and we, and we spoke about, particularly in that second half, I mean, obviously you guys fell into your structure pretty quickly. It didn't look like you'd missed a beat since last year, but that second half, when the momentum really started to pick up, it allowed you and Nathan to really take the line on with a little freedom. Did you feel the rule changes allowed you to do that? Yeah, I think, you know, when you see Nate catch it on the ad line and he's taking the line on, you just want to do the same thing. So, um, yeah, Nate probably led the way for us tonight and um, he'll probably do that all year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian, um, you're, you're one of the strongest uh, wingers in the competition. Have you done a bit of extra work in the weight room because no one could tackle you first up tonight? I think I've been slow. One hut, one hut, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing, hey, I've just been um, trying to get my body right, uh, just trying to do the little things like my resilience and uh, on and off the field, just trying to get those extras in after training. Well, the Panthers have been lucky enough, they, they come into this season injury free, everyone looks really fresh and happy to be there. Jerome, we heard that your new nickname is the CEO of the Panthers, the Chief <laughs> Energy Officer. <laughs> I was trying to keep that under wraps, eh? But um, <laughs> it's out there now, so um, yeah, sort of took it personally. And um, you know, if the vibes are a bit down at training, you know, I'm probably the guy to sort of lift it up with this guy. So yeah, that's a, that's a role that I got on this thing. Hey boys, on the back of last year, I mean, obviously everyone spoke a lot about your attack, and you had a great year with the footy. But no doubt, after getting some experience through that final series, and obviously playing in a grand final, how important was it tonight defensively to get your house in order and to keep them to nil was pretty pleasing, I'd imagine. Gee, I answered the last one. Oh, shark too. <laughs> yeah, I think um, <laughs> I think we just had to get our defence right, eh? Um, I think um, our attack will take care of itself, and uh, yeah, full credit to the boys. Boys, in terms of the determination for season, obviously it was a disappointing result last year in the grand final. Just give us a little bit of insight to the camp in Penrith in terms of Ivan Cleary and what's the motivation? Do you speak about uh, you know, the, the lost opportunities last year? Is it sort of in behind or you just go forward and try and achieve greatness again? Yeah, probably just um, big, big consistent side. Um, sort of the first experience we had in the finals, you know, we're a young side and probably, you know, just to be there last year was big for us, but um, we want to be a team that's constantly up there, um, rocking it with the best and um, hopefully we can do that again this year. All right, boys. Well, Benji called you the Backstreet Boys from roomie. the Riff. I absolutely love it. All the best. It's wonderful to watch you uh, come back so strongly for 2021. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys.